Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this video, I am going to discuss about a program which is written in C++. So before moving to the program description, uh, uh, first I want to share my information with you. You can note down my contact number and email ID for uh, discussion on uh, various topics. You can uh, visit my website. You can download my app TechMS from Google Play Store. It contains tutorials regarding C, C++, PHP, Java, ethical hacking, etc. You can download PPTs from uh, this link. You can read various books related to programming languages. You can subscribe and watch my YouTube channel where various programming related videos are available. So these information will be helpful for your study and uh, placement purposes. So do follow these information. Now coming on to the program, uh, the objective of the program is to read an array, print its values and sum by defining member functions outside the class. So in the first statement, header file is included, IO stream, the namespace is used, std which is predefined. The object of the program is array, that's why name of class is array. Inside this class, a variable is declared a which is of array type. So it will contain 10 elements inside a variable. Then in public section, I have declared three variables, read, print and sum. So uh, these uh, functions uh, have been defined outside the class. So this is the definition of first function, which is read. So you can see that uh, I have used scope resolution operator uh, when I have defined this read function. And uh, on the left hand side of this scope resolution operator, I have used array, which is name of the class. Then uh, with the help of cout, I have displayed a message on console, enter values of array. Then with the help of loop, uh, I am going to read uh, elements of array. And inside loop, I have used scene statement. So scene will store uh, all the 10 elements in different indexes of the array. Then with the help of print function, I will display all the elements uh, which are available inside array on console. So again, I have used for loop uh, for this purpose and inside for loop cout statement is used. So here scope resolution operator is used because uh, I am defining this print function outside the class. Then third function, which is sum is defined. Uh, uh, again, uh, this sum, sum function is defined with the help of scope resolution. Then sum uh, for calculation of sum s variable is declared. Then for loop is calculating sum inside s variable this loop will repeat 10 times so all the elements which are available inside an array will be added to s after completion of this loop cout statement will print the sum on console so this is the end of third definition after this main function is defined in which an object a is declared which is of array type then a dot read will read elements of array a dot print will print all the elements of array and a dot sum will display the sum of array on console. So this is the simple implementation of an array with the help of uh, defining member functions outside the class. So after this explanation, I am compiling this code. So you can see that number of errors and warnings are zero. So now I am executing this code. So it is asking uh, elements. So I am entering one 10 times. So you can see that array contains uh, 10 times 1 and the sum is 10. So you can uh, see that the program is working properly. All the functions are printing or uh, executing properly uh, their values. So uh, you can implement this code on your laptop or desktop so that you can also able to understand the concept of uh, array and uh, defining member functions outside the class. Uh, again, you can note, note down my details, which will be helpful for your study and placement purposes. Thank you for watching this video.